going on guys? Today in this video, we're actually going to be making some serious, serious moves. Now I have everything kind of prepped, not everything, but we're getting there. And we got the engine basically almost done. We got the engine crane set up and the transmission we almost have set up. I have the bell housing and over there I have my slave cylinder that I have to put on. Over here we got my clutch and flywheel. So I think in this video, today is Thursday, uh, on Saturday, two days from now, we're going to be putting the engine in the car. I got my motor mount kit, it just came in yesterday, so right now uh, I think what I'm going to do is try to hammer in the uh, training tunnel. I have uh, like a mini sludge hammer, so that's what we're going to use. It's really cold out right now, uh, I've only had the heater on for probably like 30 minutes, so it's still warming up in here. but. I'm going to go at it with the sludge hammer and I will check back in with you guys afterwards. Actually, I've changed my mind. We're going to put the slave cylinder on first. Okay, so I, I have been trying with this slave cylinder for, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes and I'm having a real uh, a hard time here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take a punch and to take out that little pin in there. But I don't think I have the right size punch, so I'm going to wait for tomorrow. I'm going to bring it to work. Uh, maybe one of the guys there has a, um, a good punch so they can get that out. So I guess as of right now, I'm going to bash in the training tunnel and I will talk to you guys after. Okay, so I'd say it's been a good 45 minutes and I got quite a bit done uh, with the training tunnel. I didn't really bash it in uh, completely. It was already bashed in over here before because the previous owner of this car had an RB in it. I don't know what training he had, but he had that bashed in, but we'll see. I, I, I'm, I'm super tired right now, uh, that, that took a lot of energy out of me, so I guess we'll see on Saturday when we put the engine in to see if it actually fits. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll just take it right back out and start bashing again. So, but I think that's, that's going to be it for the night, and I will see you guys uh, on Saturday. Peace. Hello guys, what's up? So, today's a big day. It is Saturday, and so far I have put on my slave cylinder here you can see this goes to the master cylinder up top and then here is the remote bleeder line so next step is to I think we're gonna do the flywheel um, and then the clutch and then we can mate these guys but I gotta take this thing off of the engine stand I'm gonna put it on the crane and we will go from there I actually ended up going to advanced auto parts to get the roll pin uh, for the slave cylinder because I ended up really messing it up trying to take it out and then after that I ended up going to Chevy to get the transmission bolts here so now I will get back to you guys once I've lifted the engine off of the uh, engine stand and we have it on the crane and then we're gonna do a time lapse uh, putting the flywheel and the clutch on okay so now I am checking in early we have the engine off the stand it's on the crane right now and uh, this is how we're doing it it's a little bit sketchy with the chain right here and then the fuel rail set up. Uh, it's kind of rusty on the fuel rail, but uh, whatever. Okay, so now what I have to do is pull out this uh, pilot bearing. I have a puller right there, and now I'm gonna change that out. Got the pilot bearing out. Now we gotta put uh, the new one in. But I absolutely, <laughs> I destroyed this one. Check it out. It is all like, it's crazy. So. Here's what happened. I took the sliding hammer and I used that in there. You can't really see, but you can see like the little bits. Oh, all the needle bearings just fell out. But like all the bits are in here. Like check this out. All these needle bearings and it's just like, oh my gosh. They all fell out when I was uh, using the hammer. And there's all just tiny bits of metal just in there. So I gotta clean all that out and then we'll put the new uh, pilot bearing in. Hey guys, sorry I didn't do uh, the time lapse for the flywheel, but I was actually trying to figure out a way on how to keep the flywheel from turning because I don't have that tool that locks into the flywheel. So what I did was I put a breaker bar on my har harmonic balancer bolt, and I put this old mattress that we have here, and I put it on the breaker bar so it wouldn't go upward while I was trying to torque because the crankshaft and all the internals were spinning. So I got everything up to torque. Now I'm gonna put the clutch and the pressure plate on. Okay, so, got the pressure plate and clutch on. Super happy about that. Look at that. 
This is the brand we went with, spec for the flywheel and the clutch. Everything is torqued down. Now we have the flywheel in there torqued at 74 foot-pounds and then the pressure plate bolts we have torqued at 52 foot-pounds. Now we're going to put this guy onto there. Alright, so what happened was, I got a little mad, uh, I didn't break anything, I actually completed what I wanted to complete, but uh, yeah, I didn't film the time lapse uh, putting the transmission to the engine, so here it is, we got it in there, and it was a pain in the ass because my, uh, none of my friends came, so I don't know, but I got it done by myself. <laughs> now it's time to put the engine in the damn car. Finally, this moment I've been waiting for for so long. You guys don't understand how happy I am about this. It's 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 freaking awesome. So I just ended up putting the motor mounts on here. I don't have this size Allen key. It's super big. I don't even know what size it is. So I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. I'm gonna go out tomorrow and pick that uh, tool up and uh, we'll be able to put the engine in then. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it has been a couple days and I've got some really good news and I've got a little bit of bad news. I've been in a slump recently. Um, I'm just dealing with a lot of stuff right now. It's a lot of stress. Uh, I didn't film anything, but good news is I did get the engine in and I'm super, super excited about it. So here it is. What it looks like, all the mounts down on the sides are uh, fully bolted in, and then the trans mount is fully on. Here, let me show you what the training looks like in the tunnel. It's a bit uh, crooked, I would say, but that's where it's at. I just put the shifter on there so it's not open, but it is it's loose right now. You know, come out like that. So, next. I think I am going to finish up some wiring work, do the fuel system on, uh, like get the uh, fuel rails connected. So I'm going to have obviously this piece right here, and then this piece back here is going to be uh, blocked off, and then right over here, this is going to go over here, and then my fuel filter slash fuel pressure regulator will be mounted right there, and then the fuel line kit will go all the way back to the tank. So once I've finished the fuel system, then I can do like all the wiring and all the lines. Like I can bleed the clutch right now if I really, really wanted to. Still gotta install my harmonic balancer. I still have to get spark plugs over here. I still have to get my headers, uh, my power steering pump, and a serpentine belt. So I have quite a bit of work to do. Uh, but I think this is going to be uh, it for the video, so if you guys like this content, you know, I'm actually, I'm really making moves on this car, and I really want you guys to see it. Comment what you think, let me know what your experience was, if you've ever done a swap like this, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one.